It's not often that you get to go full circle with a story that begins so tragically, but comes to a beautiful, heartwarming end. We have been through so much together, and you were actually there for a lot of it with us. And so we woke up, both of us start crying. <laughs> but it's been un, like we, we've we've kept each other up and and kept each other together and on our feet through so much trauma over the last few years. And, uh, and so many happy times, too. And really happy times now. Yeah. It's turned back around, and it's almost like this amazing full circle thing that we get to do this together. It was very hard what happened. And yeah. how have you dealt with that, and how have you grown, and how great is your life right now? My life is so great, and I have so many blessings. And out of tragedy, I believe, comes some triumph. It's hard to see it in the moment. And one of the biggest gifts that I've been given is Polly as a friend, because she's been an anchor for me. And then, of course, the biggest gift that I've been given is my husband, Brian, and now my daughter. And I am so happy. And the cherry on the cake is this, to be mm -hmm. here, to work here. It's amazing. It's, just, it's amazing. We're just like... We can't believe it. Meredith, you just had a baby, so tell us. How's your daughter? Tell us all about your daughter. Oh, she is the love of our life. Uh, six weeks ago, I had a baby girl, and my husband, Brian, is taking care of her right now. Mm -hmm. This is the longest that I've been away from her, and I'm missing her so much. But what a great reason to be away is to work on this set, because mm -hmm. I've always wanted to, and with my best friend. So there's no better reason to be away. That's what you're working on. There's someone I really want you to meet. This is one of my best best friends in the whole world. We went to college together. And she's the lab tech over at the VA. Carol Wilson, especially Jim McKee. How goes it, Mickey? Goes great. I am guest starring on this show. This is awesome. I've never played a character like this, and I'm so excited because it's different, it's edgy. I'm always playing lawyers, so. Mm -hmm. She always nice. plays lawyers. She always plays smarty pants lawyers. So I'm happy to break out of the box. No, you're playing like a smarty pants this. You two used to hang, you were roommates. What was, tell me about Yeah, your I, think history. I think we were roommates for a long time, and I think that we were sort of like a team. We figured this out. We spent years of being like, like, a team of two people like, hmm, what are those two up to now? <laughs> I took Fisher to the mall today, watched as kid after kid sat on Santa's lap and asked for toys, video games. Oh, one even asked for a car, but not Fisher. Guess what he asked for? I mean, I, I love him. All Fisher asked for is to see his mom on Christmas Eve. It is a Christmas episode, so tell us about tell us about some of the other stuff going on in the Christmas episode. Well, Abby is obsessed with Christmas. Everybody knows that. So every year, this is you know every year she has her Christmas outfits that comes. And then now, uh, part of the reason that um, Meredith's character is here is to try to grant a child a Christmas wish. My nephew. <laughs> uh... So we get together to try to do a little manipulating. What is a higher priority than a little boy wanting to see his mother on Christmas? Don't answer that. Mickey's like a miracle worker. If anyone can do it, he can. Right, Mickey? You know, you guys have been, let's see, they put you up against American Idol, they've, you know, you were like for so long the little engine they could, and all of a sudden now you're number one. Bam! You're number one. Bam! How good does that feel? You know, it feels good. Uh, it, it, it feels good because it feels that, uh, to a degree, I mean, we earned it. We we built it yeah, kind of yeah. on our own, you know. We we we. Uh, I mean, you guys have been great to us. Et has been amazing to us. But you you in tough time slots. Yeah, you've held in tough our own. time slots. We've held our own. I think we have a. Uh, uh, I think we have a, a really dedicated fan base, mm -hmm. and um, it's actually interesting. In the last couple of years, especially in the last year, it's been a lot more. Just get a lot of people coming up saying, "Oh, my my parents love your show. Oh, my parents <laughs> love your show." And now I get all these college kids coming up that sit around the dorm doing whatever they do in their dorms, right? And uh, talking about uh, how much they love the show. So I, I don't I don't know what it is. I just you know I, it's it seems to be working, and I hope uh, I hope it continues. I see no reason why it shouldn't.